Prince Harry and Meghan Markle need more than a Netflix series in order to change people's minds about them, a royal expert has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have confirmed that they will attend the first few days of the Invictus Games in the Netherlands, which start on Saturday, April 16. Alongside them will also be a Netflix documentary crew that will film their time at the Games. According to Kinsey Schofield, founder of Today for Daily Podcast, the upcoming Netflix show will not be enough to change the public's perception of the polarizing couple. She told, They are such polarizing characters that I believe it will take more than a Netflix series to change people's minds about the Sussexes and their objectives. I think it's important for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to try to do things differently because there is resentment amongst fans when it seems like they are still carrying on as royals. While some might frown upon this Netflix angle, it really is a unique way for them to rebrand themselves and continue to have a wide reach without keeping the roads hot with royal engagements and tours. The paycheck doesn't hurt either. She does believe however that the Netflix series is a positive move as it will increase interest in the Invictus Games. The author of the upcoming R is for Revenge dress book, explained, The idea of Prince Harry featured within this Netflix project is crucial because otherwise, I don't see mainstream interest. Invictus Games is not an original concept. It was something Prince Harry saw in the States and carbon copied. While the personalities that the docuseries will follow will likely have incredible backstories, they are not the Kardashians. Viewers have their guilty pleasures when it comes to reality TV and it's typically mindless, trash television. People will tune in to try to get a better sense of who Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are before they will tune in to learn more about the Invictus Games. Schofield believes royal fans will not have to wait too long before they will be able to watch the Netflix series, stating that she expects a release date within four weeks of the event's conclusion, as Netflix wants to capitalize on people's interest in the Sussexes and the headlines around the event. Besides, Body language expert Judy James said that Harry displayed trepidation and humility at the event. However, she said he also wanted to look casual and confident, indicated by his hand in his trouser pocket. Meanwhile, Meghan wanted to display an ongoing love of the public, Ms. James said. Speaking about their body language at the event so far, Ms. James said, Harry's facial expression says it all here. His emphatic eye crinkling and his head tilt as he smiles suggests a return to the cause and the people that he loves, while his handcuffed self-class pins at a small amount of trepidation and humility during this first public appearance for a while. Harry also fiddles with his wedding ring here, which seems to signal how important the support of his wife and family still are to him. This is a partial barrier and partial self-comfort gesture that shows the outgoing bonds between himself and his wife Meghan. His hand is on top of her in the clasp hinting at a similar desire to lead and protect as we saw during their first public appearance many years before. She added, Meghan's hand is cupped upward in a gesture of submission and the way Harry has his other hand stuffed into his trouser pocket suggests a desire to look casual and confident. Meghan's white pants suit might be more sophisticated than the ripped jeans and boyfriend shirt she wore back then but her hand on her heart gesture signals a desire to show an ongoing love of the public. Earlier this month it was revealed that Meghan and Harry will be followed around by a camera crew at the event, after announcing the production of Heart of Invictus last year, the first show of their multi-million dollar deal with Netflix.